Preparing for the first hearing. Purpose of hearing. The first hearing is usually a short appointment of between 30 minutes to an hour and is called the first hearing dispute resolution appointment. That is exactly what the first hearing is for, to see what the dispute is and what can be done to resolve it. If you are going to court for a hearing and you do not have a legal representative, you will need to prepare your case carefully. You may benefit from paying for legal advice. If you cannot afford to do this, an advice agency such as a Citizens Advice Bureau can assist you. You can find your nearest CAB through their website www.citizensadvice.org.uk At some court centres there are personal support units who can assist you. You can find out what assistance is available from their website www.psu.org or by contacting the court dealing with your case. Who's who? Legal advisor. The first hearing will usually be before a legal advisor or a judge but throughout these videos we will refer to them only as judges. Judge. The judge's role is to make a decision in the best interest of the child based on the evidence. Bench of magistrates. There may be two or three magistrates. They have similar powers and make the same decisions about your child as a judge. CAFCAS officer. Welsh Family Proceedings Officer. In England there is CAFCAS and in Wales CAFCAS Cymru. The officers have different titles, but we will refer to them as CAFCAS officers in this video. CAFCAS stands for Children and Family Court Advisory and Support Service. CAFCAS champions the interests of children involved in family proceedings, advising the family courts on what it considers to be in the best interests of individual children. Lawyer. The other party may have a legal representative, a barrister or a solicitor or both, who will talk directly to the judge on their behalf. Courts are busy and hearings do not always run on time. You should make arrangements, particularly childcare, in case you leave court later than expected. You should also be prepared that your case may not start when expected. It is best to avoid bringing your child to court as they may find the experience upsetting, particularly if you are upset. The court is unlikely to have suitable facilities for children and staff cannot be responsible for your child when you go into the courtroom. When you arrive at court, you have to go through security check, where you and your bags will be searched or scanned. After you have been through security, you will need to find what courtroom you are in. There will be information on display showing what cases are in which courtroom, called the cause list. Your case will be listed by the case number rather than by your name. Make sure you take your paperwork, which shows the case number, with you to the hearing. If you cannot find your case, there will be staff to assist you. Go and wait outside the courtroom where your case is listed and report to an usher. The usher ensures people go into court when they are meant to. Don't worry if you cannot find an usher, they will find you. The waiting areas can get busy. You may want to consider bringing a snack and some water. You should tell the usher if you leave for a few minutes, for example to go to the toilet. However, you should not leave for more than a few minutes unless the usher says you can, as the case could go ahead without you. Be prepared to wait and try to remain calm. Before the court hearing, a CAFCAS officer might approach you to discuss your case and see if they can help resolve the issues before the judge sees you. You might have a number of issues regarding the care of your child that you want the judge to resolve. Anything you can agree with the other person before your hearing will mean the judge can focus on what is really preventing you agreeing the arrangements for your child. You should try and only take issues to the judge that you are unable to agree yourselves. Arrangements are more likely to work out in the longer term if you have agreed them between you. This meeting is important as they may be able to help you agree a solution with the other party without the court imposing an order. A judicial decision means someone outside of your family will make a decision for you and it is possible that neither you nor the other person will be particularly happy with the outcome. Will I be able to take someone to the court hearing with me? You can take someone with you to keep you company while you wait to attend the hearing. But if you want them to attend the actual hearing with you, to provide moral support, take notes, help with your case papers, and quietly give you advice on your case, you will need permission from the judge here in the case that it is okay to bring them into court with you. You can ask the usher to check on the day that this is okay, or you can write to the court, giving as much notice as possible before the date of the hearing, requesting permission. 
This person will sometimes be referred to as a Mackenzie friend. It is important to remember that your friend will not be able to act as your legal representative and will not be allowed to talk directly to the judge or the other party during the hearing. The appointment. You should address the judge or magistrates dealing with your case as follows. A high court judge is called my lord or my lady. A circuit judge is called your honor. A district judge, magistrate or legal advisor is called sir or madam. You can ask the court usher what type of judge you are seeing. Remember the first dispute here in resolution appointment is for the judge and the CAFCAS officer to help both you and the other person identify what you cannot agree about and how to resolve it. These hearings can be quite informal and may, if it is safe for the parties involved, not always take place in a traditional courtroom setting. The judge will ask you questions. You will not be given detailed evidence at this stage, nor asking the other party any questions. The judge knows that speaking in court will be difficult, but do not lose your temper or use inappropriate language. If you are unsure of anything, ask. Be clear, but use your own words. You do not have to try and sound like lawyers you may have seen in TV dramas. This is not a battle with winners and losers. A lot of parents manage to agree arrangements at this first hearing, which are in the best interests of the child. If you cannot agree, the judge will not normally impose a permanent order at this stage, although they may make an order until the next hearing. The CAFCAS officer will advise the court of any recommended ways to agree these issues. The judge will then say what is to happen to help to agree the issues. This is called giving directions. This could involve the judge ordering a fuller written report from CAFCAS. Alternatively, the judge could ask that you attend a separate parents information programme. The programme is designed for parents going through the separation process to increase awareness of how your actions can impact upon your child and to help you communicate better in the future. They are also designed to help reduce the conflict that the children may see or hear. You each attend a different programme, but with other parents who are going through separation. Whatever the judge decides, it will normally involve a further hearing. Depending on what issues still remain, this could be another informal hearing which will be similar to the first appointment, but without CAFCAS being there. Alternatively, it could be a full hearing, where the case is listed for longer and evidence is heard from both of you to allow the judge to reach a decision on the remaining issues. If this is the case, the judge will tell you if you need to give the court and the other parent any written statements or if any kind of report is needed. It is important that you understand and do as the judge asks, otherwise it may affect your case. The next video gives you more details on what you can expect if your case is listed for a full or final hearing.